So, Kaylin Whitney, we're here at New York City Grand Prix. So just tell me how you're feeling after the race today. Uh, the race was good. I could have done better. You know, I was always looking for a finish in the top three anywhere we go. Um, you, know, you know, but I'll take it. It's a good building race going into USA's in a few weeks. So, you know, we'll just take this back to practice and just work on being a little bit better. And, you know, by the time USA comes, we'll be ready to go. Nice. And then, of course, you started, you know, you're well known in the 100 and the 200. And now you, last year, right, was a huge jump up to the four. And you've seen a lot of success. Talk yeah. to me about that transition up. Uh, you know, it was something that I known of always kind of was destined to do. I remember as a young girl, people would tell me, oh, you should run the 400. And I was like, absolutely not. You know, that race is one where it's fun to race and compete in, but getting in shape for it and training for it is the super hard part. So, um, you know, once you kind of get into that mindset, and you know that 400 meter runners are just built different, um, and you don't have fun with it and to make the race yours, you'll find a lot of success in it. There you go. And you train with Dennis Mitchell and you have like a plethora of, you know, amazing athletes in your training group. So sure. talk to me about, you know, working with your coach and then working in that training environment. What's that like? Uh, you know, it's, no better place, honestly. I feel like I was kind of blessed to kind of be born in the same area where he's been training at for forever. And, you know, it's kind of being with a bunch of athletes like this one here. You know, she's coming up, getting the 400 under her belt. We got Shakari. You know, we had Justin. We got Kyrie King. We have Isaiah, Isaiah Young. And, you know, this is a great group of athletes, you know, backed by two great coaches. So, um, you know, when you have that kind of environment, you know, I push iron sharp as iron. And we just push each other to be better every day. There you go. And so last question, of course, you... Well, actually, before that, talk to me about your transition, right? Because you came straight from high school right. going into pro. Right. And what's that transition like? Not even necessarily about, like, the track, but also even just becoming an adult in a sense. It's definitely something that you really never know. No matter how many pros you ask, how many coaches you ask, you never know until you're in it and you experience it for yourself. So, you know, it's definitely a big learning curve for me and a learning experience. But, you know, I'd go back and I wouldn't change a thing. You know, people strive to compete at this level and to, you know, strive to be you know, competing with people of this caliber. So, you know, to be able to do that from high school is such a blessing. And, you know, I just want to do this for as long as I can and just always have fun with it. There you go. And last question. So, of course, you do, you've done all the sprints, right? But in a parallel universe, give me an event that you've never done before that you would love to jump into. I mean, I, it's probably not a real event, but I'd love to do a 300, man. And it's the perfect, you know, middle ground between a 200 and a 400. And I think it's just a perfect sweet spot to see how really long your speed endurance is so yeah, i definitely yeah, yeah. 300 for sure okay there you, you'll get a chance to do a couple 300s right <laughs> i hope so i hope so there you go kaylee yeah. winnie thank you so much thank and great you. work appreciate that absolutely Very nice